Hey there, Silver Dollar City fans. This is Joey. I'm standing out here at the beautiful Mystic River Falls. And as promised today, we have some very big news to share with you all. And who else better to share that big news than Silver Dollar City's president, Brad Thomas. I've got Brad Thomas standing here with me. How are you doing today, Good morning, Brad? All. We're on the banks of the Mystic River right here in the heart of Silver Dollar City. And Joey, we have some awesome and fun and exciting news today. That's exactly right. First, I have one question. Have you kept count? How many times have you ridden the Mystic River Falls? I have not counted. <laughs> I have not kept track. I will tell you, the first ride was just on the river itself on a very, very, very cold February day. It was right at 33 degrees with the wind chill factor way below freezing. <laughs> and um, the river was uh, pretty wild and crazy on a winter day. But here we are in the heart of the summer and Mystic River Falls is delivering just fun, fun, fun for guests of all ages. It is a great family ride that families can enjoy both the river, then you head into the lift, then you head into the elevated channel, and then you head into the falls that are right behind us here. It really truly is almost two, three rides in four. one. Four rides in one. You've mentioned the lift right there that you can't experience anywhere else. And then the slide drop at the end here that I, I just love to stand right here. And like you said, witness families, three, four generations of families all in one raft coming down that slide, laughing their heads off. It's an experience like it, unlike anything like it earlier. It is, it's fun. Um, so, Let's get to the big news here. We've promised this, we teased it earlier in the week. We said we have some big news and fans, if you've been following along, which we know that you have, we've been asking uh, for you to take part in the USA Today 10 Best Contest in which Silver Dollar City is nominated. We are now have the ability to share some of the results of that contest. The first of which is that Outlaw Run has ranked top 10 coasters in the country on the USA Today 10 Best Poll. And Outlaw Run, it's just, it truly really is just a special ride. Well, just a little history on Outlaw Run. It opened in 2013. When it opened, it was the world's steepest drop of any wood coaster ever constructed at that time. It's in the 2015 Guinness Book of Records as the world's steepest drop of any wood coaster. At the time it was built, it was the second fastest wood coaster that had ever been built. And it was the only coaster that had gone upside down, not once, not twice, but three times on a wood coaster. So we had all kinds of records that we set back in 2013. Fast forward seven years, it's still a Silver Dollar City favorite, still a coaster favorite. We literally have people come from all over Europe, all over the United States to Silver Dollar City because of the, this incredible ride called Outlaw Run. So uh, we're incredibly honored that it continues to be popular. Readers have cast their ballots, Silver Dollar City fans have cast their ballots to get some amazing rides all over the United States of America. And Outlaw Run ranks number 10, it's in the top 10 on that USA Today readers poll. Moving a little bit on to a different category in the polls, Silver Dollar City is obviously known not only for our rides and for our crafts entertainment, but for the food. There's some people who come here just to eat all day long, and I can't say I blame them, especially with the new cinnamon bread open just across the street here. But Buckshot Annie's Skillet Cookery has ranked number five of the top ten restaurants in theme parks all across the country. You know, the, I, I remember clearly the great recipe that um, Shirley Toller brought in one day that was her grandmother's recipe. They would have it every Sunday after church. People would gather and they would eat this great succotash recipe. And uh, she brought this recipe in. And back 25 plus years ago, we were all kind of scratching our heads, what can we do? And some of the brilliant folks in food worked with our construction folks, and they created these giant skillets that we would place that succotash in. The okra, the chicken, the corn, the onions, all of that just combined, and you get this incredible succotash. And Buckshot Annie's has become a Silver Dollar City famed um, destination has a new place as of 2018. It got a new, a new face, a new, um, some new bones in in the um, the restaurant. But it ranks number five in the United States for theme parks uh, in the food side, and that's because Silver Dollar City fans and those who visit us often 
went and they voted and they voted and they voted and um, it's Buckside Andy's number five. Yeah, if you've ever been to Silver Dollar City before, you've surely either seen or had one of our amazing skillets here. And now that it's number five in the country, obviously the word's gonna get out. There's gonna be a lot more people who are gonna wanna try our famous Silver Dollar City skillets. And now the other big news, part of the USA Today poll, Silver Dollar City has been ranked not number 10, not number five, but the number one theme park in the United States of America. And that's happened because you helped us do that. You voted every single day. And now Silver Dollar City is official. Nobody can take that away. In the year 2020, Silver Dollar City is the best theme park in the United States. Well, the top theme park. There are a lot of great theme parks in the country. But, but what this means is that Silver Dollar City fans just went and they voted and they shared their love for Silver Dollar City. 60 years of family memories right here at this place. And even though 2020 has all kinds of challenges, families are still wanting to get away, to enjoy some fun, to enjoy fun done safely, and enjoy the thrill and the fun and all of the, the things that Silver Dollar City has to offer. Here we are, Joey, right here in the heart of Moonlight Madness. We're open until 10 o'clock every night through a week from this coming Sunday. Midnight, actually, tomorrow and next Saturday. But uh, we've got all kinds of rides, all kinds of attractions for uh, families to enjoy. And then we head into all the fun of the fall, Southern Gospel Picnic. Will we go into uh, our country music days? We go into um, all of our uh, pumpkin event, our craft event, and then Christmas, all here at Silver Dollar City. And all of those festivals, all those events, are what makes Silver Dollar City so popular for um, our fans. And that's the reason that Silver Dollar City fans voted Silver Dollar City. And in all the USA Today readers on that online poll, Silver Dollar City ranks number one. Again, thank you everybody, because we all share in this award together. Silver Dollar City's 60th anniversary. It's a birthday for all of us, and it's the perfect birthday for us to, to have this honor of being the top theme park in the country. And like you said, Brad, we're in the middle of Moonlight Madness. Tomorrow being midnight, we're open until midnight. It's a perfect opportunity to come because we have some special guests coming. Tomorrow. Oh my goodness, for the first time ever, Silver Dollar City is excited to welcome the Newsboys in Echo Hollow Amphitheater. We have two shows so we can socially distance, 4.30 and 8, I'm sorry, 4.30 and 8. 6 and 8.30. Oh my goodness, I bought it's that. A, it's, there's so many times. It's, <laughs> no, but, but Brad has 4 o'clock in his head. Because for the 6 o'clock show, right. we start seating at 4 p.m. But 6 o'clock and 8.30 tomorrow night, Newsboys, um, so two 45-minute shows so we can socially distance um, and, and we can have some fun with, with these this renowned Christian group. Uh, the heart and the soul of Silver Dollar City is remembering our faith, remembering our creator, and the Newsboys have done that in a rocking kind of way for decades. And now as they head into praise and worship kinds of music, that is being performed in churches all over America. We're just excited to welcome the Newsboys for this very special day. And Silver Dollar City stays open until midnight tomorrow night. Perfect way to celebrate. We will end the night with fireworks presented by Humana. Newsboys tomorrow. And thank you again, everybody, for making Outlaw Run the top 10 coaster in the country. Buckshot Annie's the top five eatery in theme parks around the country. And obviously, Silver Dollar City, ranked number one. Now come on out here, join us. Hop on Mystic River Falls and then see Newsboys tomorrow night. Thank you again and thank you, Brad. Thank you.